Morning guys, Matt Martinez back again. You know what we are, so let's get into it. So guys, bring you what I can in respect of the realist when it comes to reviewing these fragrances. Um, again, I've seen a few people make a few comments regarding what they feel the best fragrance was. So I thought, let me do this uh, quick video and let you guys decide. Um, again, for those that are making comments about Arsenal very quickly, uh, just lost to Chelsea. That's how it goes. Um, I think Arteta is doing what, what he can do in the circumstances. Going to leave it there. Anyway, guys, moving forward in respect to these fragrance reviews. Touching base with you now in respect of these two. So it seems to be when I did the review, guys, and I put up a number of um, options for you to consider. So if I just quickly go to my community page now, I put up these options. Now, don't get me wrong. I know this won't necessarily reflect everybody's particular perspective, but just based on the comments that I received, over the time now I've been doing this channel, these, these these seem to be the most predominant fragrances that came up as what seem to be like out there in the world, based on obviously the following that I have, what was the best um, from a ma male's perspective, 9.0, 8.0, Blue Man Spirit, Amber Ego. I didn't put in Vibrant Leather in there purposely because of the reformulation. The problem with that is saying that some people could come in knowing it on the back end where it's been reformulated and may say that it's not good enough and those that know the original um original release may say that's the best one i'm personally still a fan of the original release reformulated version unfortunately it's been too watered down and therefore for me it's probably better to go with something like mont blanc or something along those lines mont blanc explorer to be honest it's just unfortunate that the mont blanc explorer doesn't really project as much as the um, vibrant lever did don't know why they, they, they've done that again talked about it so many times so ultimately it seems to be um the two that seem to have been the standout picks from your guys comments seem to be that of amber eagle and seem to be that of 9.0 so these two fragrances are relatively different i would say they're not in the same type of category this one you're getting that type of strong with you type of vibe going on um which seems to be quite pleasant it seems to be quite nice but it doesn't necessarily last as long or it's not necessarily as complex there's not as much siage with respect to strong with you but nonetheless guys this is a 9.99 fragrance you can see how much juice i have left in that so what do you expect this on the other hand is another one which i think in the uk is around about 12.99 or you can buy in a multi-pack for probably just a little bit more 9.0 as i say this seems to be a mix of dior dior on um, mixed with a type of valentino warm or sort of note breakdown on there so just giving you a quick touch on the notes for these two fragrances Experiences. starting off with um amber ego very quickly it's saying it has um apple coconut in the midst um and in the base it's saying it has amber and cedar some of you guys in my fragratica some of you guys in fragratica say it's very poor it doesn't necessarily have much projection doesn't really last very long it's a moderate sort of fragrance um or some somewhat soft um i'm quite happy with this one though um i don't think it's a bad fragrance you just have to be willing to reapply it and one thing I like about it, it doesn't open with that heavy type of alcoholic sort of note that you get from a lot of these slightly cheaper fragrances. So whether this would be reformulated or not, I really don't know. $9.99, I'm probably just going to stick with this bottle. Don't think I'll purchase it again. I would probably actually purchase Strong With You. Um, but bear in mind, that is still a strong fragrance anyway. So you just got to be careful with the trigger. You don't give yourself a headache. But nonetheless, guys, you guys seem to have voted this one. So this is one that's in the running. And equally, we have 9.0. So a lot of you guys who are more like the old school sort of Zara head seem to regard this one as one of the best releases from Zara. You, the top the top notes in this one, according to Fragratica, has bergamot in the top notes, juniper. It does actually say it on this though. Um, and it's also saying that it's got some uh, coriander. I'm just seeing if this measures up. Pepper, cardamom, oris, which seems to be in line with what it is. So iris. And then from there, it's saying that it's got some amber in the base, cedar wood and vetiver which seems to measure up. So again, I've changed the cap on this because I lost this um, sprayer. Again, it's that Dior, Dior um, sort of vibe mixed with, as I say, like a Valentino Warm or sort of note there. Um, yeah, if you're not, I mean, Dior, Dior is quite an expensive, um, Dior um, um is quite an expensive um, in my view um, for what you're getting. It is relatively expensive. You don't really get that lipstick vibe in the same way. You do to some extent, but it's not as heavy. The Dior one's quite sharp with it, and I think that's um, it's it's definitely a um, um, how could I say flagship sort of um, fragrance in the community. It's been around for that period of time. That is given, you know, 
it, it, it's a standout fragrance and people still like it to this day so i can't knock it it's just my own personal preference i prefer slightly more valentino warmer than the your um the yours um uh um but nonetheless entirely personal preference there's nothing wrong with either one but as it stands guys um i'm gonna try and see if this makes sense now i'm gonna just ask you if you can in the comment section just say don't have to get into too much heavy detail if you want to put a few lines about your perspective on it that's that's fine but i'm just trying to work out equally it's equally good for you guys to know as well which is the best one out of the two and then bear in mind we're going to try and base this on i mean the, the, the thing with these things is guys you could try and get into projection crs you can get into um compliments and all these different things like that at the end of the day you've paid 9.99 no 9.99 you paid 12.99 whatever it may be out of the two doesn't matter which position you're coming from which is the best one for you amber ego or 9.0 no in-betweens can't just say well this one does this one and this one does this one therefore i probably if you have to pick one which one would it be leave your comments down below guys please do not forget just to say yes this one or 9.0 end of amber ego end of give a few comments if you really need to but at the end of the day i'm just going to do a tally up of all of the comments that i can see and if 9.0 is the winner, then hey, at least we know YouTube, you know, has some sort of um, some impact out there. Or equally, if it's Amber Ego, at least you know. And then at least that way, when people go out and they can look at the fragrances, look at the channel and say, well, actually, yeah, I'm quite confident in that one because I know a lot of people have mentioned it. That's the one to go for. Not some random person or somebody who's saying, well, in my perspective, X, Y, Z. So I'm putting it out there for you guys to do a bit of this, um, again, a bit of this research and help me out a little bit. 9.0 or Amber Ego. Let me know. And what I'll do from there, depending on the winner between the two, I will go and get some ladies' reactions live if I can. And if it's not possible live, then obviously I have to record it. Sometimes it's difficult live with the music. But at the same time, I get some ladies' reactions and I'll make sure if it's 9.0, I get their thoughts on that one. And if it's Amber Ego, I get my thoughts on that one. I have done a ladies' review on this one though, guys. And the ladies did view this one very highly. I've not yet done one on 9.0. And I did try to do one uh, once, but unfortunately, it turned out that the music in the background was just too much and people kept on walking in front of the video and I thought to hell with this, what's the point? So yeah, let me know guys, I'm not gonna drag this out any longer, let me know guys which one's gonna win for you. After that, we do a video on that particular fragrance and then announce the winner um, in the next videos, next few videos, we'll see. But anyway guys, that is it from me today, Matt Martinez, I thank you very much. The channel is continuing to grow. So if this has saved you some time and some money and you also want to participate and help the channel grow, and um, by all means do not forget to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel and that will also help as you say because i'm getting rid of a lot of these fragrances now i'm selling them a lot, a lot of them off on ebay ebay i want the space and i'm just ending up with loads of bottles of fragrances which unfortunately let me down which again i've done the reviews and the videos are out there so you can have a look at guys hopefully see you in the next channel um next channel hopefully see you in the next video ciao